Godspell, and it was because of the success of Godspell, I was able to go back to music yeah. um, and wrote Rock On and Gonna Make You a Star, all those other songs. I saw you in a visa. Did you? Yeah, yeah. That was a brilliant show, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, I've been privileged, really, because yeah. I, I've been in, I suppose, what have been a couple of landmarks yeah. in, in British theatre yeah. with Godspell yeah. and uh, Avita and, and my own musical Mutiny. And, yeah. and Fingers crossed, all the fun of the fair are doing yeah. the same. Oh, it will. You've got a thing about fairgrounds, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. And affinity with it. I, yeah. yeah. I, I, when, when I was at school, I went off with one and sort of left school for a little while. Uh, I just find they're kind of such interesting, insular places. And me. Yeah. Because, you, you know, the facade is fun and, yeah. and, and having a good time. And then there's this little undercurrent of darkness and violence. There, there is. There's, there's yeah. always something like nasty in the nursery lurking, isn't it? Yes. You don't know what, quite what it is. Okay, yeah. yeah. And, and rip the paper away. And, yeah. yeah, and that's yeah. what the show's about. Yeah. You know, and uh, I'm really very excited about it. I can't wait to yeah. do it. I've always wanted to be one of those lads who push the waltzes. Yeah, well, it, well there's a... There's no, a, we're dead. You know when you say, give us a spin, lads? No, you're in it. Like... But there's a kind of hierarchy, you know, because oh, yeah. when, when I did That Will Be The Day, we learned a lot about that. The, the fella on the whip is the guy, because that's a moving piece of machinery oh, right. over, over, you know, something constant. Yeah. The waltzer is kind of cool, but the man on the whip is the geezer. Yeah. He, he's the top guy in the yeah. fair. You know, the ones with <laughs> where you throw the hoop over... <laughs> That's where I'd end up, probably. <laughs> rubber duck, rubber duck, <laughs> rubber duck. <laughs> Joe, now, you worked with Keith Moon. I mean, you've worked with them all, haven't you? What was yeah. it like, like working with Keith Moon? Was he... Did he live up to his reputation? Well, I think that's the thing. He had a reputation yeah. which he felt he had to live up to. Um, yeah. You know, I knew Keith quite well cos I made two films with him and, and, you know, he spent a lot of time yeah. sitting around talking and so on. Um, I, I always thought he was a tremendous man, and I, I thought in many ways trying to live up to this, you know, crazy kind of image he had might have been his downfall. I remember one night we were doing an all-night shoot for um, Stardust, and, and we came back to the hotel, and there was just a little message from my manager then, Derek, um, and it said, congratulations, you're number one in America. It's about four in the morning, and I said, oh, that's nice, Keith, because that's the way I am. You know, it's nice, I'm <laughs> number one in America. <laughs> and he went nuts. He ordered champagne, and we, you know, just spent the night. He said, the Who's never been number one in America. Yeah. I said, oh, very nice, thank you very much. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> but I, I liked him a lot, and, you know, Ringo, the, the first film, because that would be the day in, in Stardust, we're kind of tied together. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the first film was a lot of fun to do uh, with Ringo and so on. Um, Second film was tricky because, I, I, in many ways, I, I suppose I was fictionalising a lot of things that were happening to me in real life, and it was quite tricky. Oh, nice! Yeah. You know, with because all, all the uh, rock success had come by yeah, then. Yeah. But um, they're thought of very highly, and I'm pleased about that. Well, look, we've got a clip here from that'll be yeah. the day. Bert, if you would please, that'll be the day. It's fair you go to. Yeah. Do you reckon there's a job there for me? Stud Farm's the best place for you. Hmm. Any more for the merry-go-round? <laughs> that would be the day. Mimi makes Alan. We had the pictures to see that. Brilliant movie, though. Yeah, I think... Do you know what I loved about That'll Be The Day? It had a core of, again, going back to the fairground thing, slightly, slightly edgy. It was yeah. a slightly, there was a slight rough edge to it, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think, I think it was a very honest film. Are you still mad on helicopters? Not so mad. I no. mean, I'm, can, you, I'm... can you fly a helicopter? Yes. Oh, I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah. Is it hard to get your, your helicopter pilot's licence? They're, they're, they're more difficult to fly than, than fixed wing. Yeah. Uh, because you're doing five things at the same time. Yeah. But I shared a helicopter with Kenny Jones, who actually took over, strangely, from Keith Moon in, in The Who, the drummer. Yeah. yeah. And um, we took to it very well, because I was a drummer, so physically you're used to doing different things. So the physical side we're, we're, wasn't too bad. The exams are quite tricky. Yeah. Your mum wasn't too keen, was she, when you <laughs> fly? No, I used to, that's right. She used yeah. to... Uh, she died last year, bless her. Oh. Uh, um, I, I, would, I would go over uh, to see her, and um, initially I'd... Put, she had a big garden. Once I got some money, uh, that's a funny story, cos my dad and mum still lived in a council flat for a long time, 
and I'd made a few bob, and I said, let me buy you somewhere. My dad said, no, he was a docker. No, it's all right. And then I, I got this phone call on a Sunday. About this house, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and what was happening is that these people were organising coach trips to this council flat to pay homage. So all the people would come out and go, oh, he must have stood on that veranda, and, <laughs> and he'd had enough. So, so, uh, so I was able to buy him uh, what apparently was used to be a hunting lodge for Henry VIII in Essex, and it had a big garden, and, and I used to land there, and, uh, you know, they were thrilled about me landing a helicopter in the garden until all the rhododendrons just blew off one time. <laughs> and she said, don't you bring that bleeding thing in here again. <laughs> you put it in the field over the back, so uh, that's what I did. David, listen, it's great to meet you, finally. Yeah, it really it's been is. a long yeah, time. Yeah, I, I, I love the show, yeah. I honestly do, and I've wanted to come on here for a while. Well, you've got an open door, any time. Thank you Seriously, very much. Seriously, any time. Listen, good luck with the tour, really. Thank you. I don't feel right, you know, David Essex on tour, and me not on tour, behind you somewhere. <laughs> Seriously. You come with us. I will do. I make the tea in the dressing room. Lovely. And good luck with the musical as well. Yeah. Come back again, will you, and we talk about the musical. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, opens, yes. Yeah? Yeah? Ladies and gentlemen, please, let's hear it. Mr David Essex. Thank you. Don't forget, if you want more information on David's shows, go to our website. Thank you very much. Now, my next guest.